right guys, so what we have here today is the Fire and Flavor Portable Hero Grill. Uh, first off, uh, I want to say that Fire and Flavor uh, has partnered with me and they did send me this grill. I've had it for a while now. I wanted to really get familiar with it and do a few cooks on it before I uh, came in and did a full on review. Um, overall, I'll say right now that I'm really happy with it and I like it and I'll tell you everything that I do like about it. And uh, a couple things that, you know, aren't bad, but you know, I wish were maybe different. Uh, but overall, this thing is fantastic. Um, we're gonna cook a steak on it today, just something quick and easy so you can see, you know, how well it actually does cook. Um, so let's get right into it. First things first, this case right here is uh, very good quality. Seems to be like waterproof, it's kinda like that hard plastic. Um, so that, when I first got it, was a great first impression. And I'm gonna bring you guys closer in so you can see everything I'm getting out of here. But it opens up just like this. And when you get it, uh, it comes with a spatula. You get a nice wood cutting board. Everything's strapped in there pretty well. You get a nice wood cutting board. And then this thing right here, this is actually the charcoal pods. So I'm gonna show you how we use that later on, but uh, this comes with it uh, when you purchase it and it all fits in here. So anytime you go anywhere, that's all you need to take. Everything you need to get started is inside the case. Um, also comes with a little lighter. And lastly, of course, it comes with the uh, grate system. So uh, I will, you'll get some closer shots a little bit later, but I'm just gonna really get right into it because I wanna show you guys. Now I'm gonna do the cook right here on top of uh, my bar just because I've done this a bunch of times and it really does not emit any major heat from the bottom of it. So I'm not concerned about whatever I'm putting this on top of. I probably wouldn't put it on top of a plastic table, um, but for this, this is gonna be fine. This is a really hard piece of wood and I'm not, I'm not concerned about it. So uh, first things first, let's um, bring you in closer and I'm gonna show you how to get this thing lighted and then uh, we'll start cooking our steak on it. Okay, so how does this work? Well, basically, move this real quick so you can see what we're doing. Uh, basically what we're gonna do is you just take this off and as you can see our charcoal's inside. So this top lid just kind of pulls right out and inside we have our charcoal pods. Now, to get these charcoal pods lit, um, use the little lighter that they sent you, uh, but I have a big torch that I like to use. I haven't uh, put, refilled the little lighter that they sent me. I ran out of butane, so I'm not going to use it right now, but I'm just going to light this using my torch. Um, but it's really simple. All you have to do is just light all the corners. So you get it going like this. Okay, so uh, maybe the torch is not always the best idea because you might burn the edges of the box, but that's okay. Now, what we're gonna do is get our grill grates back over here. And all you do is slide the charcoal pod right in there under the grill grates, just like that. And we're gonna give it about 10 minutes going to get all the uh, charcoal pods lit up and it's just going to be hot enough at that point for us to go ahead and throw our steak on. So in the meantime, while that's heating up, we're going to prep our steak and then uh, we'll get it on the, on the uh, Hero Grill. So this is not really a how to cook a steak video. Um, you know, I really want to just kind of focus on the grill. Uh, but, you know, we're just going to season the steak up real simple. We're going to use some Mad Moose Barbecue Original Rub and completely get our steak covered with it. This is a all-purpose rub, sugar-free. If you're interested, it is available at 
uh, www.madmoosebbq.com. So if you uh, think you might want to try out a new rub, we'd appreciate your business, of course. But make sure you get all the edges. It's very simple. Probably the easiest thing to uh, season is a steak just like that. That's it, we're done. So our grill is heating up over there. It's been just a couple minutes. Um, I'm gonna let this rest at room temperature until the grill is ready to go and then we're gonna get it on and I'll talk some more about the grill at that point. So check back in a minute. Okay, so it's actually only been about five minutes and this thing is hot. Um, it's got a thermometer right in front here. It's reading about 450 degrees uh, and that's gonna take your grate temperature. So 450 degrees is a good, uh, I'd say that's a good starting point to go ahead and throw the steak on. Um, I wanna mention one thing while I'm talking about the thermometer, which is a pretty cool feature, comes out like that and you can actually put it into your meat and it works as a meat thermometer uh, as well. So, you know, if you're out wherever, um, camping or at the beach, tailgating, wherever you want to take this thing, you should get your meat thermometer. You always have one on the grill. So we're just going to throw the steak on. And as you can hopefully hear, it sizzles a little bit there. So we know that it's hot. Um, we're going to get some nice sear marks on that side. We're going to leave it for maybe two minutes and then we'll flip it 90 degrees on the same side. Give it another two minutes flip it over, do the same thing. So while it's cooking, uh, let me talk about a few key points. Um, first off, how big is it? Well, we'll do measures. So we got about 13 inches and nine inches. So uh, I've done about four burgers on it at once before. I'm sure I could fit another steak on here if I needed to. So, you know, it's, uh, it's good for a small family or a couple people, you know. Um, the nice thing is that the charcoal pod has actually lasted me about an hour and a half every time I use it. So, um, you know, you throw a few burgers on there, they take 15 minutes to cook. You can do that, you know, several times. I think you can probably cook maybe like 15 burgers uh, before the charcoal pods run out. So uh, that's a pretty cool um, feature is that the, the charcoal pods last a long time. They're also all biodegradable. Uh, what else? Um, let's talk about the price point. Uh, right now you can find this online at uh, fireandflavor.com uh, or herogrill.com uh, and uh, it's like $99. So it's a great deal. If you were one of those people that likes to go camping, tailgates, the beach, um, just cooking in your backyard, you know, if you just want to do something different, switch it up a little bit, this is the perfect thing for a hundred bucks. I don't think you can really go wrong. Uh, the charcoal pods uh, replacements are like $10, you know, so it, it's a convenience thing uh, in my opinion. So, you know, I, I think uh, I think that's a pretty fair price, you know, because you're gonna you can take this all with you. So you're gonna pay a little bit extra for the convenience of having this grill with you, no matter where you go. It only weighs, shoot, maybe five pounds total with everything in that carrying case, five to seven pounds. Uh, so it's not like you have to lug it around, and it's gonna be super incumbent on your person. Um, Let's see what else, it's, you can tell it's getting hotter, the steam's coming off, uh, it smells really good right now. I'm starting to get a little excited over the steak. Uh, what else? Um, I like the design thought that went into the spatula. Uh, it fits in between the grill grates, so when we flip this, we're gonna be able to get all the way underneath and we're not gonna have to sit there and like scrape, you know, at the grill grates, you know, to get underneath it, it's just gonna go all the way in and we're just gonna be able to pick it up and turn it. So I'm actually gonna check right now and see what it looks like. Really, really nice grill marks going on. I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and give it that 90 degree turn. But as you can see, it just goes right up underneath it. 
just like that. So that's a cool feature. What else we talked to him about? Um, yeah. Now we're just waiting for a steak to cook. Okay, uh, it's been about two minutes on each side. We're gonna flip it over and I'm gonna get to show you the nice grill marks that have been left on it. So, just like that. Beautiful. I mean, the fact that this thing can cook a steak uh, this well, and it, it's only been five minutes, and the steak's gonna be done in less than 10 minutes from start to finish. Um, if you include the time of getting the grill out and ready and to temperature, you're looking at like 15 minutes that it took you to get everything out, throw a steak on, and finish it. Um, so I think I've hit most of the key points that I really wanted to talk about, about the grill itself. Um, Fire and Flavor has been great. They have a ton of other awesome products. They have rubs. Uh, they sell some really good lump charcoal. Uh, cedar wood planks uh, that I've used and probably my favorite thing that they have is the uh, biomass uh, fire starters that go in your charcoal so you don't have to use lighter fluid or anything they're all natural you just light them and they get your charcoal going for you um, so on that side of things those are some of my favorite products that I've used by them and I will honestly tell you that they are good quality um, this grill has been great. The quality is really good for, for the price point. Um, you know, the only, the only drawback I think is the size of it. You know, obviously I have, a, I have a big family, so it'd be nice to have something maybe twice the size. I don't know if that's something that would be possible, um, but that would be really nice if you could have, you know, two charcoal paws next to each other and one bigger cooking area. Um, but you know, maybe in the future they'll come up with a, a bigger um, model. But this is great for, for what, it, what it's meant to do. It works and it works well, and I would highly recommend it. We're gonna finish cooking up our steak and uh, check the inside and see how we did and you'll see the final product. All right, so I just checked the internal temperature of the steak. It's at 132 degrees right in the center. So that's medium rare-ish. I'm gonna take it off. And that only took maybe eight minutes to cook total. And uh, now I gotta find something after this to cook on here so that I don't waste it. But um, it's, like I said, underneath it, it's not hot at all. I mean, it's a little bit warm. I'm actually touching the bottom of the charcoal pod and it's just warm. I mean, so that's pretty cool. You can actually, you probably could put it on one of those plastic tables. Um, I still don't recommend doing it, but it probably wouldn't hurt it. So oh, that was my fault. Look at that. I'm going to take it right out just like that. That's how not hot it is. I'm gonna try to move this whole thing just like this out of our way. Now the metal part is hotter, but still, I just moved that just like that with my hands and it wasn't an issue. So, all right, I went inside, cleaned off the cutting board. So don't think that I just had raw meat on here and then threw a piece of cooked meat on there. Uh, we're gonna let it rest for 10 minutes and I'm gonna cut into it and we'll see how the Hero Grill cooked our steak. Okay, steak's rested. Let's, uh, let's cut into it and see how we did. So this was a, about a one inch thick ribeye. Took us about eight minutes. Cooked it to a rare. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, last thing we gotta do is give it a little taste. 
I already know it's going to be good. It's got Mad Moose Barbecue Rub on it. Mm. Perfect. Man. I, if you tasted this and I told you that we cooked it on a 13 by 9 inch portable grill, you probably wouldn't believe me. It's, it's really honestly that, that good. Cooked absolutely perfectly. So, recap, final thing, final thoughts. Um, things I love about it, it's portable, it's a good price point, it cooks flawlessly. Um, you can take it anywhere if you love the outdoors, this is gonna be the perfect uh, thing for you. Uh, tailgates, beaches, hiking, camping, uh, fishing, you know, wherever you wanna go. Um, you can place it on any surface. Obviously, I just cooked it on top of my bar. Uh, I was showing you earlier, you saw me pick up the entire charcoal pod while it was lit and it, it didn't even, it was warm-ish. It was nothing. So, uh, you know, Hero Grills did a great job on this product. A lot of thought went into every little portion and aspect of it. So if you're in the market for something like this, I think $100 is a very, very reasonable investment uh, for you to spend and go uh, grab yourself one of these little portable grills. So go check them out, Fire and Flavor Hero Grills. Uh, follow them on Instagram, check out their webpage, Facebook. Make sure you check out our webpage too, www.madmoosebbq.com. Check out our sauces and our rub. Um, we've also got some uh, new merch on there, so check that out as well. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. So uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching the review. Have a good one.